we are excited to announce the immediate availability of RimObjects SDK for Java. RimObjects software revolutionized remoting with RimObjects SDK when it was released in 2002 with support for Delphi. Then in 2004, the .NET edition brought powerful new clients and servers to the .NET and Mono frameworks. And in 2009, the Xcode edition added Mac and iOS clients. Which brings us to today's release of the Java edition, adding Java and Android clients to the RimObjects SDK family. Thanks to RimObjects legendary wire compatibility, you can now exchange data across any platform, including JavaScript, which is included in all four editions. RimObjects SDK brings it all together, supporting any platform you want. RimObjects SDK for Java gives you access to the entire Java platform and runs on any Java virtual machine version 6 or newer. It also fully supports Android's Dalvik virtual machine for API level 8 and newer Android applications. Of course, Oxygen for Java is fully supported as well. We provide demos and documentation for use with many popular Java IDEs. But since it's a pure Java jar file with no external dependencies, you can use it anywhere you can use Java. This 1.0 release includes support for our high efficiency bin message, as well as the ever popular HTTP channel. Future versions are already planned with support for other message and channel types, not to mention features like custom server development. Also in development is our multi-tier database application framework, Data Abstract for Java which is currently available in beta under the code name Black Lodge. Let's take a look at RimObjects SDK for Java in action. I have the chat server running that comes with the samples here. This is written in RimObjects SDK for .NET, but because everything is wire compatible, I could have used the Delphi version just as easily. So now I'm going to go in here to uh, IntelliJ IDEA from JetBrains. This is their cross-platform Java IDE and I've loaded in the sample chat client in here. Now I'm going to point out in the project all these files here that you see are generated by Service Builder. So I just load in the RODL from the server here and come in here and say code gen Java and it generates all the files, those files for me that provide all the communication between the, the client and the server. So then in here, this is the chat window which sets up the, the user interface. We just have these calls here, we get the proxy, passing in the schema, and then here we use the channel to get the receiver to get the response to the events. That's the hard part right there, I mean this is it. Pretty much the application is written at this point, the rest of it is just wiring in a couple other things to make those calls. But because Rim object SDK encapsulates all of this through this proxy object. It's just like dealing with local local objects. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this here. And here is our swing client. Fire up the VS11 beta, and this has the oxygen for Java client for an Android client here. So specify the schema, and then here's where we get the proxy object for the service and again the same code we saw before for the channel to get set the receiver. Um, and the rest of this is pretty much just uh, Android code here. So we'll go ahead and run this one and it'll show up in my simulator. Okay, so now we can go ahead and log in from the simulator. And the server saw that login and we'll log in from here. And we see in the simulator it saw the desktop logged in. So now we can send a message. We'll send a message from here first. Hello from Android. Send. And we see there it goes, shows up on the desktop client. And we can say, hello from desktop. Send. And there you have it, a short demo of RimObjects SDK for Java in action with a desktop swing application and an Android application. Now, of course, this swing application could just as easily run on Windows, Linux, Mac, anywhere you can run Java. And this one, of course, is specific to the Android platform. We hope you are as excited about RimObjects SDK for Java as we are. 
Visit realmobjects.com today to buy a license or download a free 30-day trial, and you can add Java and Android clients to your remoting and smart services infrastructure today.